The kynurinine to tryptophan ratio provides information about inflammation, but also antioxidant defense. And that's what we'll see here. So starting with the amino acid tryptophan, that's degraded into kynurinine by the enzyme TDO. And this is a process that generally happens in the liver. For example, after we eat a meal, tryptophan is degraded into kynurinine, and then kynurinine is further degraded with the goal of making NAD through the de novo NAD synthesis pathway. But under inflammatory con conditions, for example, there are many pro-inflammatory cytokines that can induce IDO to also degrade tryptophan into kynurinine. And some of those include three different interferons, interferon gamma, alpha, and beta, the bacterial outer membrane component lipopolysaccharide, and TNF-alpha. Conversely, there are also anti-inflammatory proteins that can inhibit IDO1, including IL-10, IL-4, and the antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase, SOD. So in short, the kynurinine to tryptophan ratio provides information about many pro and anti-inflammatory factors. So it's an integration of many factors, thereby, thereby highlighting its importance. So with that in mind, what's optimal for the KTR or the kynurinine to tryptophan ratio? So the, this ratio, the kynurinine to tryptophan ratio, increases during aging. So starting with the baseline visit, this study included people that had an average age of 59 years, and then they provided blood at 11 years later at the follow-up visit, so when they had an average age of 70. And there we can see that there was a significant increase for the KTR, going from 59 to 70 years old. So the significance of the age-related increase for the kynurinine to tryptophan ratio is that a relatively higher KTR is associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. And that's what we'll see here. So on the y-axis, we've got the hazard ratio or risk of death for all causes plotted against the KTR on the x. And then to assess significance, we put up a line at the uh, hazard ratio of 1. So remember, when the shaded gray region is either completely above 1 or completely below 1, we have a significant association. So in terms of lowest risk, we can see that that's true when the KTR is 15 to 23. As you can see that the shaded gray region is completely below 1. Conversely, when the KTR is above 25, that's associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. All right, so with that in mind, what's my data? As I've now measured the kynurinine and tryptophan four times. And I've done that by sending blood for at-home metabolomics using IOLO's kit. And if you're familiar with the channel, you've seen me make many videos using this kit. And I won't go through each of them here. I'll put some of them in the right corner if you missed any of them. Now, this kit provides information not just on these metabolites, but also 600 plus. And if you're interested in measuring them and others, there'll be a discount link in the video's description. All right, so what's my data? I mentioned I have four tests, and we can see that here from April to September of 2023. And my average over those four tests so far is 24 nanomoles per micromolar. Now, the, to put that into perspective, what I, from the data that I just showed, lowest all-cause mortality risk was when the KTR was 15 to 23. So I'm just outside of that right now with an average of 24. But the good news is, is that all-cause mortality risk increases when the KTR is greater than 25. So it's not great news. It's not terrible news. I'm somewhere in the middle for now. But there is room for hope as for the last test, my KTR was 21. And with that in mind, the next test is scheduled for the end of this month. So once I get to five tests or results for five tests, I'll start to look at correlations with diet and supplements, and I can start to get an idea of what may be impacting it with the goal of keeping it close to 21 or lower if I can for as long as possible. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, any dequantification, epigenetic and telomere testing, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing, including ApoB, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, including one of the shirts that I've got on now, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.